Hello there and welcome back to Ghost Trick. Now, last time we managed to break Detective Jowd out of the prison only to be caught by Detective Cabanella outside in the main yard where there was only one phone and nothing else to interact with so we couldn't really prevent him being taken. Now, Cabanella and Jowd both went off to the left, left side of the screen. They went off by themselves. I don't quite know where Jowd's been taken or if Cabanella, I don't actually know if Cabanella's actually taken him to jail or whether he's actually going to help him out because they were friends. And I think the, there may be some hijinks going on over that side, which would we don't know right now because it just went off off the screen. <laughs> so, in the next chapter, in the second chapter after that, we went to the to see Lynn at the minister's office. When we arrived, turns out he was deleted. Say deleted. He had a heart attack and expired. Deleted's a different thing. He expired. His time of life has expired. So, sorry. That, just, that phrase there just reminded us of something that I can't say on in the opening to a game. So, we managed to get him his pills and his water in order to save his life. Stop him expiring. Which he then let slip that he's only pushing the execution that this hard because his daughter was kidnapped by people who are trying to pressure him into getting rid of Jowd. Why, I don't really know. We don't know yet. So that's going to be our plan for this episode, or at least the start of this episode. Because I don't know where it's going to lead after this. I'm in uncharted territory with this game right now. I don't remember any of... The, I think the last episode was the last part that I played when I first played this game. I don't remember anything after this. So we're going to have some fun with this one. So we're going in. We're going to rescue the minister's daughter. And I'm going to see where it leads. Hopefully, somewhere good and have some good information. So guys... Grab your favourite drinks and snacks, curl up somewhere comfortable, come hang out, come hang out with me. English, I know it's hard. Come hang out with me <laughs> as we jump straight back in a ghost trick. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. Chapter 11, 12, 10 a.m. The Justice Minister's daughter has been ab abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution's a mistake and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers to hide out a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. We have arrived. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty, but then that's okay. That's what I love about you. Uh, what's going on here? Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Oh, let's keep a smile on a lady's face. Right, my dear? There. See that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. She's a tall lady, just... She's very tall. She's as big as that door, and doors aren't exactly small, right? They're quite tall. 
I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're you're on guard duty. I don't know how to do a female voice. I'm sorry. All right, I'll dream of you until my return. Until you return. I totally can read. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. Is the door in the chest? All right, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. Beauty. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, I'll have an itchy ear. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped, and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. That'll be the secret room. Wait, there's a second time she was deleted, Lynn was deleted, when she accidentally went into that room. Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. The dirty trick stores without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, the power vanishes, doesn't it? I'm also worried that she's in there and now she can't breathe, maybe? Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl's doing. Before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Okay, so how are we getting across here? We're going up. Alright, so we can't go there. Can we interact with any of these decorations? Or can swing this? Okay, how, what does that do for me? That actually does nothing for me right now. Uh... What does that do? Oh, okay, that's cool. So I can swing from... I can set that one swinging, get into that one, and then set that one swinging to get somewhere. Maybe. It's in this door. Nothing, it just taps open. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Okay, so we can send something flying, maybe that ball. We've got a ball over there, that green one on the right hand side, see it? Above that statue thing, or oh, sorry, below that statue thing. Alright, so if I swing this... And I'll swing this. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, how do we get in onto there? How does that help us? So I can spin that faster, but do I want to do that? I can't get down. But I can get in there. So I can swing that faster, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. Uh, what can do with this spin rock? That's just a little rock. Okay, so we need to go in. We must need to go in here, lower the shade, which gets us in this briefcase or oh, this chest. Darn! Can't reach my destination from here. Can I get no? I want to be. I want to be in here. Can I get to that one? No, I can't. Doll. How do I make this? Which shelf? What shelf? Or oh, the one on the right? Shelves suspended of very thin cords. They look like they're about to break. It better be quite a spectacle if it fell. If someone can break it, kind of makes me want to break it. So it's, he's got to be talking about this over here
I'm gonna just mash in. No. Because do we need to wake him up? Where's that? Okay, wait. We'll see what this does. Okay, that... Oh, I think I get it. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so if we... Now go down here. To the door. Hit the ball. And that does what for me? What does that do for me? Unless I've got to set fire to the... Do I have to set fire to the firecrackers? Maybe. Wake him up. I don't know what that ball does for me. Have I just done it in the wrong order? Spin. Okay. There's a lighter there. Is this like the prep room? Oh wait, fire pop? Wiki wiki. Just my imagination. Okay, do we need to make them all go off? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Cake box. Wait. Just my imagination. I think I might get this. Are we setting fire to this thing? If I do that flame, then quickly go up, spin it faster, so that'll go, that little thing that's hanging will get catch fire on the candle. Then it'll come across here, maybe. Or maybe not, hold on. If I lift this, does this... Oh, okay, so it lifts this. All right, I think I may get it. Let's try something. I'm gonna try something. So let's raise that. We may have to reset because I'm just messing around here. Straight into there. Onto this side. Now we can go down here. Burn candle brightly. Brighter. Quickly go across here. Catch fire. Yes. All right. Lights that on fire. Not quite what I was expecting, but it kind of works. Now that candle's done. Now I can lift this, which maybe set fire to this. Which sets that on fire. And how does that help me? Move. Oh, okay. 
That was very elaborate. But we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. We're all right. Wh what do you mean, just your imagine? Oh, actually, hold on. We can get into the trunk now. Never mind. I was. I wondered if I had to get him to move that box, but no. Oh, hello. What in the... What's going on here? This little lady. I'll see that's not the daughter, is it? Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? She's very stylish. That's a very stylish chest. Hi. Uh, welcome back. Just my imagination. Uh, yeah, she's back. That was kind of cool, that one. I like that one. I have no idea what, what the end game, <laughs> what the end goal was. We worked it out. What's with the fun buck and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guests well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm? This house is where I used to live. What? What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, I oh, see. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. So there's definitely a party atmosphere went on here. We're back. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. What's going on over here? Uh, can we actually... What in the world? She has a core. Why does this little lady have a core of the dead? Yeah, I'm wondering that myself. When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. Lamp? Was it a lamp? Is the lamp a, ga a bad guy or is he a good guy? I better ask her what happened. That's very good. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do this. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Miss Al? Missile? I'm sorry. I'm not Miss Al. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. We did... Did Missile save her? Does, does Missile have powers? Does Missile have powers? That would be cute. A dog with powers of the dead. <laughs> That's, okay, sorry. Getting distracted by the thought. Camilla, so this is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? Uh, I can hardly tell the poor little thing. This is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are two no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this, this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember, doesn't remember dying. 
Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure. Go ahead, sissy. Sissy? Uh, hmm. Okay, kidnapping. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know, but I know about that part. She has to go to the chicken kitchen at Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I, I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, and Lino was said. I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. Why, oh, the music box apparently has something to do with me. According to Jowd, the music box has something to do. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. With my help, actually. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. Where? Sorry, I don't know where. I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humour me. Oops. So, what happened? What happened to the music box? I had it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want a bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So, the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. Maybe we can get Lynn to go and get it. This is your old house. Yep, this is where we lived till five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep. She's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the Justice Minister? My father is gone. Gone? Maybe he's passed away. No, that's not it. My dad... He's gonna die and it's all because of me. What? What do you mean because of, because of me? Sorry, I caught someone caught in the back of my throat there. <coughs> Pardon me. Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is Detective Chowd. A detective? No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Chowd. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, huh? That murder case. Okay, things are getting, the plot's getting thick. It was mum's birthday that day. My mum and dad, that's why there's the whole, all the decorations. My mum and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea, it was going to surprise my mum. I set up that contraption. Oh. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? Oh. Birthday. I'm guessing that was an accident, because that... I think she probably used the that portal as a, a portal, that picture as a as a wrong kind of counterweight. Mom, mom, what was that noise? I get the feeling the actual it was an accident. Then still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm, I know that contraption. I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake, a birthday message. So someone either changed it to use the picture, or someone, or she did it by accident. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed, he asked him for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. Dad said what I saw was a bad dream. But he told me to forget it. 
This is almost unbelievably tragic. Can't believe it. This little lady's Detective Zhao's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. Uh, there are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. Then we can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. So you just hold on a little longer, all right? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget. You promised, sissy. Alright, so how are we getting out of here? Can I, I'm wondering what's going to happen now. How are we actually getting her out of here? What took you so long? I travelled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. Why? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the he's the one who chose this location. Hmm. I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing this extra work all for the sake of this deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. She knows I'm here. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. She can sense me. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. That adds a new... Uh, that adds something to the challenge. Not gonna lie. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. Book. Wait. Yeah. Get, take the book. Don't. Don't. Rude. Leaving the book behind. Am I in the book? I think I'm in the book. Hold on. I'm in the book. That's why it was left behind. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady's gone now, leaving me with only a few fa few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One other thing stands out of my mind. Out of my mind. I can sense your presence. Some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Chapter 12 to 12.25 p.m. So a.m. Yes. It looks like the kidnappers have made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jones' daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. So they caught the wrong lady. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Calm down, Lynn, please. I told Lynn what I'd found out about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they, they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla? Why, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old Justice Minister. I think the stupid old part is a little bit uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl. Kidnapped for the ransom on her own father's executioner. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then, there are all those other twists too. Like the kidnappers winding up, in, winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could be just coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. 
I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about the distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that I was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what I was saying. Ah! Uh, how can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please. If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I try calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? That's actually a fair point. Hooey! That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. I'm going to assume it's Cabanella. Yes, it, oh, that was a good guess. <laughs> that was a very good guess, that one. Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. Thank you. A fantastic dance. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended, though you might like to see him, so here he is. Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd, I'm, I'm sorry I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student brings a tear to my eye. Um, so let's go. No, I don't want to talk to him. I want to go talk to Jao real quick. Never mind. Just have a chat. I can't get to Jowd. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. Ha! <laughs> oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment, isn't that right, Detective? Right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. A little bit harsh, but probably true. So, were all those rumours about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lynn. But, Detective Jowd, I am a death row inmate who's escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Oh, actually, hold on, you moved forward. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk, you and I. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Uh, some kidnappers are just saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? 
Uh, the carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter there who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No. It can't be. And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot him, Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring it her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Harsh truth. Is it true what, what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's Alma's birthday. We came home from work and she went in first. Bang! I don't know why I said bang there. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla. Just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. Made an impossible move. An impossible move? Let's go Powers of the Dead. I think we're supposed to jump to the bottom one to continue the conversation, but we're going to go for this one. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The Powers of the Dead, right? That day, in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of people who know about those powers. She does. Is someone there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd. It's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through at the end before you die? Sounds like a plan. Are we going to team up together? Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first, of course, was the firing of that gun. Right, that was an antique gun I had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that cupid. Cupid? It was supposed to turn... Okay, so it wasn't meant to light that candle on the right-hand side. It was meant to light the candles on the cake. Aha, uh -huh, it was meant to light, light candle on the cake. I get it now. It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning round. Or not the cake. Uh, the cake and the party poppers. Somebody made a change at the contraption's design. 
and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. What adjustment? What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Couldn't think of it. The gun was gone. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out for that out of that frame with the picture. So that was the evidence you covered up. Okay. Alright. Dig that. I didn't believe what you told me about the contraption. But one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot armor. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? You mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police, my own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When it was all done, I turned myself in. Okay. Back in the present. <laughs> Detective Jowd, is, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake. That sounds wonderful. Yes, let's do it. This music. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Temsic Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sizzle, take care of Detective Jowd. Uh, do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I'll say, easy enough for you to say. <laughs> it is actually, some of these puzzles are quite tricky. Um... Okay, are we gonna... Let's just have a quick chat to him. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I can't hear you! La 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 la! I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. But there's something else, somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah, who's that? Me. I can't explain your existence, it's not normal, but I'm, I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination, a delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got a bit about you not trusting me though. Good. All right, so where are we going? No, I don't want to be. Are we actually leaving? Are we leaving here? Are we Wait. Talk to Child. I say we've got to look after him, so us leaving is not going to help that, is it? Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one who I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it how? I doubt his wife was ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? Oh, wait, we're going to the... We're going to that the other end and we're ringing out. We're getting, them to, getting her to ring out, or we're ringing out. What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective. 
For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly into the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? Yes, there is. We are going to leave. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to him. No, I still don't want to talk to him. Let's dial out. And we... That's the correct place, isn't it? Ladies' Red Apartment. Or moving at Courtyard. Kitchen, no, no. It's the Red Apartment, isn't it? Yeah, Red Apartment. Okay. I didn't see that before. Never mind. I got really stuck there for a second. I probably cut it all out, but yeah, I got really stuck there for a second. I went to the phone and went to the madam's apartment where his wife and daughter are. And the wife was there, but the daughter wasn't there. And I couldn't do anything in there and it told us to come back here. So obviously I've come back here and I've just seen this speech bubble, which is what I've just clicked on. All right, so we can go back in action now. <laughs> What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd be we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. Sorry, my headphones gone really weird. There we go. It's, it's, I don't know whether me wires on the way out. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see my old friend in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boo boys? Boys, boys, arrange a prison van to pick him up. Would you be do the honors? Yes, sir. Do you always carry a seat around with you? Does he actually? Did he, where did he get that seat from? Did he pull out out of his coat? The van should take about ten minutes. I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Dr. Mr. Death Rowan, mate? Maybe. Why? I'm glad to see Detective Jowd all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come through with the proof of Jowd's innocence, it'll be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping, somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Well, I guess we're going to go have another chat to him. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who's kidnapped. But she isn't the one. We've had this, heard this conversation before. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it how? That was why I was never going to answer that phone if we call from here. 
if we call from here, right? But the telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others, but you're the only one who can change the situation. Gee, Detective, thank you. For those past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly into the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the justice minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Yes, there is. Now I think we can go... Uh, nope. I want the phone. And now I think we can go to... The apartment. Ooh, little girl in bed. Nice, nah, just as I thought. This little girl's safe in her bed. <laughs> that little fake cough actually made his cough in real life. Made a proper cough. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link to the long chain of a sad fate has lit a fire in Zhao's heart. And the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight is related back to me in some way. And I bet this mistake-ridden abduction goal does too. Chapter 13, 12.51am I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who's kidnapped, I doubt the Justice Minister will call it off the execution tonight. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna see. Sorry. The key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed coughing. And I didn't use this key before that prison van arrives to pick up our just death row inmate. I'm not going to do that again because it's going to make us cough. <laughs> Hello. We're in the phone still, aren't we? My darling angel, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing, did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart, but I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. A little bit lax, never mind. I didn't go out to play. I want to buy Papa a birthday present. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could hardly, I could barely move before that. Yeah, it didn't do you any good. But look at what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here is to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Of course, to, you know, to have a drink. Mama. Yes, darling. Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Amelie. I hate you. Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development too. Amelie wants to call her father. Now if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that would just purely bring the just mincer around. So what are we gonna do here? A lighter. Also, who's gonna Who's gonna sell a sorry? Who's gonna sell a lighter to a child? <laughs> Done solvest already. I 
Amelie, I told you you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Amelie. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about him, Mama? He's the one who's just as mincy, you know. All you do is write weird novels. Mad. What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? Okay. Uh, that kind of took a turn. That kind of took a bit of a darker turn. You know, got very angry. I'm guessing she don't like being called weird. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you. I can hear you, you know. I think that's the point of shouting. Just a little bit. I think that's the point of shouting. Whew, what a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady so Emily can call. Alright, so we're in the light there. Waste we'll paper basket. So she can flip. We've got a knob which we can turn the light off. Better not put out the lamp right now. It'll only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. If I want to give Emily a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. Okay. Right, so we can't get the... can turn the latch and let the rat out. Can turn that latch off. And we've got the dictionary. And we can't get any further that way. Can't use anything in the hoist. Can't do anything with the chandelier. I can turn the valve though. What does the valve do? The valve does absolutely nothing. Let's see what happens when we turn the latch. Let the rat out. Swing harder. Little ratty boy, are you alright? How does that help? Are we tell me we don't set fire to this rat. Hi. Well well, having a good time, are we little rodent? Sweet dreams. Mean Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? That I apologise for that. That was incredibly mean. Please tell me he's just knocked out. She's more powerful than I thought. Looks like she tipped the wall candle over to one side too. Hmm, the anger of those candles. I get the feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. Yeah, so we can set fire to let light the candles, it's going to get that phone to go down, but how does that help me? PC brought back to life. Did Rest in peppers, rat. Rest in peppers. I'm feel a bit guilty about that. Oh heavens, a blackout a crit Oh heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. I sometimes forget I'm doing voices. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. This chandelier was narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills. Thank you. Okay, just use your backside to light up the 
the chandelier, but very smoothly done. Oh, jiggle it. Oh, the jiggle physics. Sorry. Bit, un bit uncouth. <laughs> so how am I lighting that candle on the right hand side? Ah, oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. Okay. Poor rat. Let him go. Never mind. Feel sorry for him. Anyway, what am I waiting for? There was a question mark thing. Oh, there was a speech bubble that I could interact with. Am I waiting? What a naughty chandelier! Have I got to time this with something? That wasn't an excuse to see the jiggle physics again, just so you know. Alright, so let's watch her. Are we setting fire to her glass of wine? Which sounds pretty dodgy. So I can swing this harder as well. But that's got to be, I've got to get something on there in order to... Fight of that. That does nothing. Okay. We need to light those ch the, those candles, but I need to get a light source onto here in order to do that. Examine the dictionary. Hmm, the ladies' dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? Poor thing destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. So I can't get down there. Do I have to do something? I'm locked out here when I do this. That was close. Is this just literally just timing? Right, yeah. Oh, wait, I think I get it. Okay, do I because I'm out of control here, I don't have any controls. Yes, okay. Such insolence. Okay, so we've got to maybe knock her out. There we go. Wait, not knock her out. Trap her. Amelie! Amelie, help me! That took me a long time to work out that. <laughs> Mama! She can't get out of bed. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Ha ha ha. Here's to the weakness of my darling angel. Uh, that chandelier on there is tighter than a wedding band. She won't be able to escape on her own. Are we lifting... Are we lifting her up? What is going on here? Amelie, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Oh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head is spinning, so I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning too. Uh, what's the plan right now? Alright, so I've got her 
trapped, so the kid can use the phone now. But how am I going to set fire to... I can't set fire to... Her? Can I? <laughs> for legal reason, that was a joke. It looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. Now the little girl can call her father. Now I've just got to get the phone down to her. The only trouble is she can't reach it. I guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. Oh, that's right, the angle of the shunt candles. I saw something very similar just recently. Okay, yeah, we're thinking that one. So I don't know what the plan is right at this point in time. I know we can set these to burn brighter. Set fire to the rat tail. Oh wait, the rat's, oh, wait, the rat's still alive. Uh, okay. I'm actually very happy that the rat's still alive. Swing this harder. Poor rat. It's still a poor rat with its tail like lit on fire. You know, it's not very nice. However, we can now let the, get the phone down to the kid. Ring your dad, please. Mama! What in the world is going on here? Maybe stop swinging? You're gonna, it's going to collapse in a second. I'll be nice and calm. Are you calm? The rat's hanging out, having a merry old time. His tail's no longer on fire. Oh, goody! Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. Nice. I think we've solved that one, then. I'm happy for that. Ah! Don't you dare, Emily! I won't have it! Get me down! Don't you dare! I won't have it! Oh, wait. Uh, we're supposed to be going out, though, but we're still in a cutscene there. When listening in the conversation. Hello, Papa! <laughs> Emily! Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What do you think? But I heard they, they said you were... No, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old papa. Happy birthday, papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to me and old mama. Oh, you're me and old mama? I mean, your mother? What, what's she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up, up all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down! She needs to be taught a lesson for causing so, so much trouble. No, Amelie. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. But it's all right now. Oh, okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can, can't can tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Okay. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. Have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. This is a weird situation. I don't know how we're going to fix this. <laughs> um, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I, I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. I thought all you ever did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said it was a job at Justice and was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right, I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try and actually read them. 
What? Um, oh, uh, maybe you better wait until you're a little older for that. Does, are these the sex novels? <laughs> Tr trashy sex novels. With the greatest respect to anyone who reads those kind of books. Okay. So, Emily, if you're feeling a little more terrible toward your old mama, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. But I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. And she passed out. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only thing pressing on me with this chandelier. Here is to Papa and Mama's darling angel. Yeah, you just have a drink. Are you going to come down? All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? Pretty much. Pretty much. In any case, the situation's changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least I know the Justice Minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office, see where everybody is waiting for the prisoner van. The Mrs. family now has the smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers, and decided to go back to the Justice Minister's office. Surprisingly, the Mrs. Brown is still just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a, like a father who's just learned his daughter's safe. He seems to still be in dis depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have, have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something as big is going to happen. I just found out that my daughter's safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you, thank you, for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Ah, of course. There is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? I'm guessing that's a no. Please, please let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. Okay, we're definitely having a conversation with him. I wonder if Lynn's at the park yet. Until we get a report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it like the inspector in the white said? Let's have a chat. Should we have a chat with you right now? Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit that I do exist? That thank you, I expressed. That was meant for you. Yes, thank you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually... We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea they were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. What's this? That's why your ex execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. What about this manipulator? There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Dowd. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. 
the rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. That is weird. Hold on, these are cases are the weird ones. The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither do these of these men had a motive for their crime, and both of their crimes were impossible. Impossible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigate investigative report to me on them. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. A manipulator, huh? That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Okay, how's Down's case, coming by? Down's case connected to it? Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cavanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act according to the inspector. The first case of its kind was locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated it somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behaviour like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory too. However, I was seriously mistaken and it proved to be a big mistake. What? What was your mistake? Hold on. If your mistake wasn't getting him... Alright, do tell. Do tell. You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. Alright, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Cabanella can hear this too. Are we going to get Cabanella on our side? Excuse me. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cavanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, my Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of that first hand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Child's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. Excuse me. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. That's a unique pen. So it's someone more powerful than me. I didn't read I didn't even read that. No, no, I mustn't sign it. Someone really wanted him gone. Wait, don't deliver that document. Why didn't the guard listen? That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair and suffering began. Okay, so it's so someone powerful pulling the strings back here. All right. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I'd been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm, so the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I thought just my psyche was rebelling against the task. But the next day, it dawned on me. 
I remembered Inspector Cabanel's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a Minister of Justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm, I suppose. But it sounds a little bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know, I should have. I was running away from the problem. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. What if you go around with an expression like that? I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everybody the truth immediately, I'm moving out. So that's what the argument's about. And then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it I thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why I've been telling people to stay back. So what's the, what are they controlling? Can they actually control the person or is it controlling the clothes? So, there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. Is it the desk lamp that's doing it though? The person in the desk lamp? What I'm not fine with is the fact that person can control, control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. That's unfortunate. How are we going to deal with this one though? But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from? Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a, de a departed spirit. A spirit? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Chow, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. Spirit, ghost, God's in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Minister, I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. And off he goes. See, where's his chair gone? Is it back in his jacket? And we have a phone, wait, we have a phone call. This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is kind of difficult to explain. Cecil, if you're there, come to the park immediately. So I guess we're going to the park. It's going to be next time though, I think. It looks like your help is needed, Cecil. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Oh, wait, I'm in the phone already. Never mind, I'm in the phone already. Um, park. I have no idea what we're going to be walking into here. Lynn calls, and I oblige. I take off toward Tempstick Park. A place where clearly something big is taking place. The manipulator. A person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jown's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could Lynn have been manipulated into shooting me? Possibly. Thinking about it, I never even thought about that. Alright, so I guess we'll go into the park next time. Um, yes, I want to save. And uh, no, we don't want to continue playing because, unfortunately, we are out of time. So, let's go big me. 
So yes, we are out of time, so we're gonna leave that here for this week. This episode actually helps me out a great deal because I was wondering with the episode count, because there's 17 chapters, trying to do two per chapter, which was leave one episode with one chapter in it. However, managing to do three chapters in this episode, because two of them were quite short, managed to do three in there, which means we've got essentially, not promising, but essentially we've got two episodes left of this series. Because we've got two chap another four chapters to go. Sounds like a plan. Sounds dangerously like a plan. So, a lot of revelations there. Found out that there's an actual uh, uh, manipulator, someone that can control what seems to be actual living creatures, which is bad. I'm wondering if it's the the guy in the lamp, the person in the lamp. Wonder if it's him doing the military and then he's taught us how to use it to not try exactly to try and stop him. But is he, is he the Moriarty to our Sherlock Holmes? I have no idea. I have no idea where this game's leading. We're heading to the park to find out the music box and the gun, the actual crime weapon, crime weapon, the actual we <laughs> weapon, murder weapon. That's obviously going to be next time. Managed to rescue Dora. Camilla's still in the wind with the kidnappers. We need to rescue her still. We need to solve the park issue. Overall, it's all kicking off. I'm actually getting really invested in this game. Actually, the story, the mysteries. I like a good mystery. I hope you do too. Oh, guys. Thank you all for watching hope you have enjoyed this if you have let me know in the comment section below if you are new here feel free to come hang out come check out some other stuff that we have going on we would love to have you here there's plenty on the channel for you to pick from about me something that you like if you're not new here welcome back thank you again for all the support it is much appreciated thank you for hanging out with me today i love you all from the bottom of my heart and you all know what's coming. Please like, share, comment, subscribe on that jazz. And as always, just see you on the flip side. Bye bye.